Welcome to the Windows Club. Updating the BIOS on a Windows 10 computer has a lot of benefits and sometimes it's very necessary. Now I won't go into the depth of the importance of updating BIOS. Let's keep that discussion for another day. But as for the procedure of updating the BIOS on a Windows 10 computer, there are two ways of doing it depending upon the brand of your computer. The same has been explained in this article and rather this article is very subjective. It explains the situation with each and every brand like Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus and so on. However, the common part is that you would either have an internal application associated with the brand or you can simply download it from their website and both of these methods are quite easy. I have an ASUS computer, so my application is called My ASUS, and then I'll click on the software to open it and I'll wait till it loads. It will need a few more seconds. By then, we can check. Okay, now I'll expand this. I'll go to software update, and this would need another few seconds to load. Then I'll go to the BIOS and firmware section and it shows all the BIOS. I'll download the latest one. This one is for Windows. This one is the flash utility. And once I have downloaded it as a zip file, I can run it and update the BIOS. Though in my computer, it keeps checking and downloading the latest version from time to time. And there are similar utilities with other brands. For example, I had the Sony BIOS utility in the other computer. HP also has its own utility, Dell has its own utility. But if you want a generic solution, simply search for its download center on Bing. For example, I have an ASUS laptop, so I'll search for ASUS download center on Bing. And then I'll open the download center. Now the difficult part with this method is that you would have to enter the exact model number, which is usually on the box of your laptop. So have you retained that box or do you at least have the build receipt? The model number in my case is X412 FA and I'm reading it through the product itself. I have searched it and then I'll hit enter. Let it load. Yep, this is the one. I'll click on support. And in the driver and utility section, I guess I'll find the BIOS. Yes, here are the BIOS and firmware. I can download it. Okay, this is the one. And I can download the firmware. I can download the BIOS. I can download the update. I can download all of this. And I would be good to go. Isn't it easy? If you still have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.